Well, we hope we have a, a good, bountiful season this year. Texas Parks and Wildlife and NOAA has predicted a below average season, but we really never know until we get out there. So hopefully when we drop our nets, we'll have a good season. To the, uh, uh, yeah, to the tie off. We have Tony Reisinger out here with the uh, Texas A&M Extension and Sea Grant. And he's out here right now uh, making sure that our total excluder devices are all uh, within the legal parameters and uh, making sure that everything is correct so we don't get any violations with anything. Hopefully, like I said, the season season will be good and everybody can uh, prosper. It has to be 24 or less. If we're in violation with the total excluder device, we can lose our whole uh, catch on board. In that way, it's very important that we, we maintain uh, legality here and that's why we do a lot of training to make sure that we certainly do not want to lose our catch so we, uh, we, we really take a lot of uh, precautions to make sure that we're in the legal parameters. Turtle excluder devices are important because what they do is they exclude any sea turtles that might enter the net. They actually push them through and they hit the bars and they slide out of the net. If the turtle excluder device is compliant with the correct uh, angle, with the correct measurements as far as the flap, and some other smaller measurements. Shrimpers have been using turtle excluders probably since 1989-1990, and it is a, uh, a regulation with the Endangered Species Act that they do have to pull them so that they don't have any sea turtle bycatch. We have, I think, five different species of, of sea turtles in the Gulf of Mexico. I've been fishing on shrimp vessels uh, most of my life and since we started using turtle excluder devices, I've not seen a uh, sea turtle captured on a shrimp bed. If they are in violation of the regulations, like if they have a, uh, a TED that its bar angle is more than 55 degrees, uh, they are in violation of the Endangered Species Act and they can be fined, I believe, $10,000 and they can seize the whole catch. So if the vessel has 30,000 pounds on board, uh, that would mean a huge loss to the boat owner and the crew. Nine feet? Nine feet. If the angle is incorrect in a turtle excluder device, you could actually drown a sea turtle So, if it's greater than 55 degrees.